Welcome back to the West Wing. We, we missed you. Yeah. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> President Bush hailed the press corps' return to a White House facility without coffee stains and with working air conditioning. A fellow like me would feel comfortable coming in here and answering a few questions without losing 20 pounds. <laughs> it is really hot in here. The press room officially in business. A year of cleanup, concrete pouring, and decorating officially complete. Okay, President Bush is gone. Let me give you a tour of the new White House press facility. If you weren't watching this on camera, you'd probably say what everybody says when they see it in person. Wow, it looks a lot smaller. But in fact, uh, this new facility looks bigger. You've got a bigger podium here. You've got these uh, plasma screens to dress up the background for whoever is briefing here. New chairs. The same basic layout. This is still the exit to the Rose Garden and the south side of the White House. Uh, features are nice. You've got expensive granite. Somewhere between 3 and $20 million went to, to renovate this facility. And a lot of that money went into new high-tech TV equipment. This is all digital here. You see more flat screens. It'll take some getting used to for the TV people here, but the experts say it's uh, definitely 21st century. Now we're down underneath the press facility, which you may recall hearing is built over a former swimming pool. Now we're down in the pool for miles and miles of fiber optic and digital TV wiring. At this point, anyway, it's a lot neater than it used to be, but there are a lot of people working in this facility. You've got uh, various journalists here. Here's print, wire service, the TV people you've seen. These are still photographers who put their pictures out uh, via the Internet. The idea is to get as much work done or more without the squalor that uh, used to plague this place. And on that, the jury is still out from the new White House press facility. I'm Steve Handelsman, NBC News.